Yo everyone, welcome back into another video and in today's video I'm going to be listening to you guys three things which I think Brawlhalla should either be improving or changing to help the game grow. Hey everyone, welcome back into another video, I hope you're all doing well. If you are, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Also, just before we go any further, make sure to check all my links in the description down below. They'll be much appreciated. And also, I'll be hosting an EU tournament for Brahula sometime between the 9th to 11th of October. The, the final date is yet to be confirmed, but I will leave it in the comments once it is finally confirmed. Like I said, it's an EU-based um, tournament, but you can play if you are on an NA or any other region as long as you play on the EU servers. And the, and the prize will be a community colour for the winner. So guys, I think this will be just a lot of fun. We've done this before and it was really fun. Let's try and do it again and try and get some more attendance. That'd be amazing. So yeah, if you want to check it out, it's in the description down below. But today I'm going to be bringing you guys three things which I think Brahul should either change up a bit or either improve on. Because we're getting over, we're getting close to the end of the season, the end of season 16, I believe. And we're, ble and we're getting to the end of it, it closes on October 7th, so... This is what I want to see changed, that I may not be going, like, I may not be speaking for everyone here, and some points it may only be to a certain group of people. But I think overall these three things will help improve the game a bit more and will help people playing for longer. Alright, and into my first point, I could literally make a whole video about this, but we've had the new patch, I'm happy with it, so I haven't made a video about this yet. But if, okay, if this video gets 10 likes, then I will make a full video on this. I made a small video about this on Twitter, but it's the patches, the balance patches. We had a point where we had two and a half months with no significant changes, and we were just living in a canon meta which pros couldn't even play because they didn't know whether it'd be getting nerfed the next patch or not but we're, we're past that we've now got the new legend mako and we're in patch 4.07 so everything seems to be looking up at the minute but in the future i want to keep seeing these big patch like these big pack changes i would be able to see three four or five weapons being changed every patch like it may to some people they may not agree with this but i think if you're constantly changing stuff then you're constantly adapting the method and i just think seeing new things be at the top will always be good for the game like last patch it was canon this patch is probably going to be stuff like bow and hammer maybe but who knows the, like i said these are just my thoughts but i think we i want to see constant changes in the meta with each patch and not just see like one big patch and then the next patch have like some tiny like some minor tweaks because that's not really changing the meta that much and if we were in a bad meta like we was in like the previous patch when Jayun was released and the whole cannon buffs and all of that i don't think anyone wants to have another meta like that where it's just heavy weapon based and i don't think many people enjoyed it i know for myself i didn't and now the second thing i want them to improve or change on is the report system I cannot say this enough. I don't think anyone could say this enough. The report system in the game is useless. There's no action taken. There's no be there's been no proven action taken apart from when they done that massive ban wave of players. And that was it. They there was nothing past that. And I think we need to have a report system which will actually like which would actually ban people or suspend them for their for their actions like for like saying something in chat of course some people may not even like like oh maybe like a disabled chat feature i don't know but one thing's for certain their report system needs to be improved a lot and maybe even just a message saying hey this person you reported has now been banned due to toxic behavior would literally make the whole thing a lot better and it would, it would show people that there is something going on with the report system and it's, it's actually being used. And now onto my final point. This will be more towards the pro players on this, but a new rank. We've we've had this for a while and I think, I think a lot of people know this is a problem when the fact that Diamond, which is the highest rank, needs 2000 ELO, and there's people out there getting a thousand elo above that and still being in diamond 
Yeah, I think this is like a lot like the problem which Rocket League had for a while, and now recently they've changed it and they've added a new rank. So I think it's uh, it's about time that Brahul do it. A lot of the pro players are around that 2700, 2800 mark. So I think they need to have, have the new rank. And I think this will get pro players to start playing a, a bit more ranked. Because if you were to check the Brahul rankings, you'll see not many of them actually play ranked because. A, they're already at a good level, B, they can just spar, and C, there's nothing to grind for in ranks, so like I said, you might as well just spar or go into experimental. So I think for pro players to stick with the game and stay motivated to play the game is to add a new rank to, to uh, grind in, and also it will also help those mid-tier to lower-tier diamond players also have something else to grind for now rather than just hitting diamond and then... Hitting a um, hitting a blank and having nowhere to go. But that's it for today's video. Let me know what you thought of this down below. And if you agree with my points, please let me know in the description down below. We can have a good discussion there. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. 10 likes and I'll make a whole video about what I'd want to do with the whole patch system and all stuff like that. But yeah guys, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.